it's gone over the top. Extra cover. Four runs for Craig McMillan. 15, uh, 12th over comes to an end. 15 from it at 64 for four. Oh, super shot. McMillan out over extra cover again. One bounce for four. Craig McMillan's been picked as the finisher. The theory was he's got about number seven. If New Zealand are to go close today, he's going to be the start, the middle, and the finish. And that is an outstanding shot. Almost six over extra cover. Mitchell Johnson learning you can't give this. Oh, yes. We're still on the power play. <laughs> and McMillan picks up his first big one. Yeah, that's a beauty. Well, this is some catch, too. This is the ground staff down there, I think. There's old KJ in the background. And this is a magnificent shot and a sensational catch, just to add to the flavour of the evening. One-handed. The slower ball, McMillan seized on it. I'm sure I've seen a serious one day international with so many sixes. Bang! That's six number 20. I've never seen that many in a match. Plenty of opportunities for some um, field and practice beyond the boundary. What a beauty. Oh, a legend forever now. Mellon on 30. Holy cow, he's gone again. Just got that hip out of the way and said, uh, oh, I'm enjoying this now as he races to 40. 16 from the over, 138 for five. Tremendous hitting today. I mean, if you're in the crowd, you go home disappointed from this, then you, I mean, I don't know, Tiddly Winks may be your, your thing. But uh, some of the hitting, the cleanest stuff you can imagine. And not just one or two players, most players that have come out have been able to find the middle of the bat, which is a testament to the surface, of course, but also the fact that uh, some players are in very good touch at a very important time. Straight three for four, shoddy fielding. I'm not sure uh, any bowler appreciates that on any day, but on a day when you're getting slogged to all parts, you need a bit of backup. Uh, Mitchell Johnson's average day continues. Well, that's hammered. And that's not good enough, really. Someone who's on the fringe of uh, over the side he should be more desperate to get more body behind that. Another four, that's 18 fours, five sixes in the innings. Those five sixes takes the game total of 21, which is one more than just two days ago at Eden Park. Oh, All right, where's that gone? Well, it's another four. That's not good bowling when you've got no one back on the leg side boundary. That's just a long hop waiting to be spanked. Here he comes, smacks it away. That's four, that's 50. Second over, one fifty six overs for fifty three. Tough for bowlers. Smashed. That's cleverly played. That might just about make it. It does. Well, that's a nice shot. And Johnston continues to be expensive. Millen gives himself some room. It's a good over for New Zealand. It's a very good over for New Zealand. Here he comes. Smashed it. Four more. Down the wicket. High, very high. When he hits them high, they normally go long as well. That's big.
McMillan again. 94 he moves to now. When he gets a chance to free the arms and swing through the line of the ball, his ground is not big enough. Down the wicket. Has he bought his 106? I think he has. Put your bat in the air, Craig McMillan. That is the fastest 100 in New Zealand one day history. What a blinder. The gladiator is back. It took seven years, but he's back with a vengeance. And he didn't know. He had no idea. It took Brendan McCullum to tell him that he scored 100 for McMillan to show this excitement and well played. Craig McMillan. Superb striking. 67 deliveries. Now he's got a job to do. He's got to win this match. That's what's on his mind. That's all that's on his mind. He's an experienced player now, a cool head. Here it is. The shot that brought up the fastest one day hundred in New Zealand history. What an innings. Took him a while to work it out. I think he had to be told. On the runs. As Mark Richardson has mentioned, the wickets column is the key. Well, let's check this out. The last 15 overs, we've had 104 runs. And New Zealand need less than that in the next 15 to win the game. going to take some skill I think it's also going to take a little bit of luck for New Zealand to get home no reason why they can't have both I know they've got the skill will they get the luck well, they really look like this is the tactic now isn't it they have almost got sick of bowling the ball on a good length on a normal one day length and decided, well, we've got to get short. McMillan, not renowned for the pull shot. McCullum, more so. But the fieldsmen are back. They've got the protection out. And the option appears to be, for Craig McMillan in particular, to bowl a lot more short deliveries. He'll counter by charging at it. Oh, he's got a two to get back again, and he does. Well, again, McCullum, another good call. Because if McCullum had gone, he was halfway down the wicket at best. At best, he might have made it halfway. McMillan, well home. I'm not sure Watson hit the stumps anyway. No, he didn't. He missed. He got them second time round. It was too late. 90 from 78. And he's got the hook shot out. And he's hit it well. It didn't bounce for Watson, and the angle was there for McMillan to help it on its way. Where's that gone? It's going to fall short. <laughs> McMillan is uh, not at his best off uh, the back foot, playing the pull shot. And it was probably just as well he didn't middle it. He was good bowling. 150 partnership for the... The two Max, the Mac attack continues to roll on. This is unbelievable batting. 135 balls. They might succumb again to some outstanding stroke play from this man who's brought up the fastest 100 in the history of one-day cricket for New Zealand and 67 balls. He's still there, 95 balls in total, 117 to his name. He's bowled him. He's gone this time. I think he played it on. I think he thought he may have got an inside edge. And it had diluted the stumps, but it hasn't. It's knocked the bales off. Now that is a big blow. Watson's done it. He didn't need to play that stroke. McCullum was the man to lead the charge and lead them home. But the crowd will stand to an absolutely extraordinary innings. The fastest hundred ever by a New Zealander.
Craig McMillan deserves the applause of this Hamilton crowd who all rise to their feet. It may be a match winner yet. If nothing else, it has been outstandingly entertaining. The Blackcaps 281 for six.